Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Pisces yes. here, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like, 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 and subscribe. If you get anything out of this, thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, cosmic guides, all beings of the highest, purest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my wonderful, fabulous, and amazing Piscean Seer family the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Hello, my lovers. How you doing? I'm good, okay? Uh, it's just beautiful outside, okay? It's got me in a great mood. So... Um, this is a Venusian reading. Okay. I don't know what was with that brain fart, but, um, I, where did I write it? Okay. I wrote it right here. So I was singing a summertime love uh, uh, thing. I love it in summertime. Okay. From, uh, the regular show. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're going to be feeling more love in the summertime. Maybe you're going to actually fall in love with someone in the summertime. I don't know. And then, uh, I was singing, I tell the truth. I keep a gang of bad bitches with me too And we ain't never going back to what we used to do I was gonna lie to you, but I had to tell the truth I'm just being honest, you know And then I said something about uh, I don't like I don't like being labeled, okay? <laughs> so you could be someone who really doesn't like labels, you know? Like, because I was thinking about, um, like, the different star seed names and things like that, you know? And some of y'all are mixed star seeds, and you know this at a soul level. So you just really don't like being called one specific kind of star seed or, you know, put in one box with one certain type of energy. And that's right. You don't, you don't need to be in no box. You are universal, you know? You are, like in this golden crystal type of consciousness, you know, really in this place of love, you know, cause this is the Venusians. Okay. So of course it's so much love energy here, you know, um, maybe you could wear it. You could wear some pink, you know, or wear some green in honor of your heart chakra is what they're saying. Okay. So let's get this, uh, overall energy. I feel like I need to shuffle this more. Oh, oh, oh. We got the golden egg, okay? Didn't I just say you on this golden consciousness? Look at the telepathy at the bottom of the deck, okay? A universal knowledge under that, okay? What's under that? Look, service, okay? So you are amazing. Look at this cosmic unity under that, okay? You could be someone who is amazing when it comes to energy work, okay? You could be this beautiful energetic healer, you know? Just going around like vomiting rainbows on everybody, okay? You need to keep doing that. The way that you've been showing love, baby, is... Is amazing okay and it's going to pay off for you okay so this is this card is the number 31 okay so you could be a life path number three four or one okay your birthday could be in january okay <laughs> march or um april okay um or it could be on the 31st or the first or the third of any month okay <sighs> they told me to do life path numbers and birthdays today so that's what it is. Uh, okay. So it says, I don't want to like read the whole thing if I'm being honest. Okay. But they're like, just read it. Okay. It says, are you in the unknown? Can you not see clearly what rests ahead of you? Is there maybe some uncertainty in your upcoming plans? Well, then pause, take a deep breath, let go and put your anxiety to rest with the knowledge that something wonderful is being birthed through you beyond the surface. The golden egg of pure consciousness reveals itself to you in times of the unknown, telling you to trust and to have faith that something wonderful is occurring behind the scenes of your life. Now is the right time to relax, release all forms of doubt, overthinking, and fear of the future in order to receive the abundance of the golden egg. Your Pleiadian guides are requesting for you to enjoy this time in the unknown, knowing that it too will pass. Rather than simmer in worry, it is advisable to connect with gratitude and discover many of the gifts that are already here right now. It can be easy to get lost in our worry and lose consciousness to 
the moment. But if we do, we miss out on this gift of the present. Tune into the field of gratitude and amplify your frequency by listing all the gifts you are grateful for in the now, which I was doing in the shower, okay? <laughs> I was just like, you know, I said, God, archangels, you know, I said the whole thing. And then I was just like, thank you. You know, I'm so grateful for you guys. You know, I'm so grateful, you know, for my home and for my energy and just the way that you guys have helped me grow. You know, I've been doing that like all morning, just walking around too, you know, so that means I'm right on point in my energy. Okay. It says go deep and express full thanks for all these simplicities of life. You will observe that your energy state will shift and the golden egg will begin to hatch through simply your presence. Gratitude is the way. Okay. So, um, it says gratitude, release, heal the mind, silence, divine simplicity, trust, faith, breathe, patience, let go and presence. OK, so being very present at this time is going to be very important, you know, and I think that's why telepathy came up too. you know, you telepathically communicate with yourself, you know. And a lot of times people give themselves this conditional love, you know, it's like you love yourself, not you, you know, but I mean on your way to this higher goals and consciousness that you're in, you know, you love yourself as long as you're doing what you feel like you should be doing, you know, like, I don't know about you, but like not too long ago, you know, I used to like be so hard on myself. You know, I was always talking to myself like in a shitty way, you know, and I just, Oh, I just do not like that. You know, like I'm so nice to myself now, you know, and I think that that really shows in my energy, you know, and I think that this is where you are too, you know, I think that you just need to have a little bit more trust in yourself and in your path and know that you really truly are doing the right thing. You know, look, it says, take a break. Okay. A life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill, you know, you could be just like, even though you're talking to yourself nicer, you know, you're still like, you know, slave mastering yourself, you know, but the Venusians are saying you're on this double mission, you know, yes, you're here to channel and uplift humanity, you know, in whatever way it is that you specifically do it, but you're also here to enjoy this life, to enjoy these moments and to learn the happy lessons too, you know, not just the lessons that come from suffering or come from you, you know, uh, going through a whole bunch of bullshit and drama, you know, like centering yourself in the happiness and in the loving energies that you just naturally sit in and trying to have that in your life as much as possible in every day, in every second, in every way, you know, what else? We got wonder. Okay. It says, it's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder. And when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better theater. When something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. You know, like, look at you, okay? Like, look how you have progressed, okay? Look how you have grown, like... Spirit really taught me how to be like my own audience, you know, my own cheerleader, how to be so motivational, not just to myself, but to y'all, you know, and I love that. I'm so appreciative of it, you know, and if ever I feel tired or whatever, you know, spirits like, you know, you can take a break if you want, you know, because really they want me to just keep going, you know, to just get to it and to just deliver the messages, you know, um, that's really their advice for me right now, you know, but also, I don't record on the weekends, you know what I mean? So I have times where I take a break. Sometimes I work all weekend <laughs> and I just don't take a break at all, you know, but I'm still in this Zen place, in this golden consciousness. It's like, I don't leave this place very much, you know, <laughs> and it's great. Look, I'm in a, in a manifestation mindset, you know, and I think that this is where you are too. And didn't I say that you need to trust your path, you know? Like you're in this manifestation state of mind or you need to be, you need to stay there in order to get there. You know, it says if you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy, baby. OK, you are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it just that in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks there are who know about what 
what you want and might have the means to help you make them happen. Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting, but don't use the word if you don't want to, you know. I think that by that they mean like you're just such a natural manifester, you know, like I think you manifest things without even thinking about, you know, manifesting, like taking manifestation steps, you know, writing every single little thing down or writing something down, you know, three times, then six times, then nine times type shit. Like, <sighs> I think you're doing good. You just maybe being a little bit too hard on yourself, you know. What's the final overall energy? Okay, they had me add an extra this angel number deck to the overall energy. So we got 11-11, okay? Perfect. Because <laughs> we're talking about, you know, manifestation at the bottom of the deck is 100. You know, it talks about um, encouragement to achieve more in life, you know, and eliminating any and all negative energy, you know, that double zero, you know, giving like double the presence of God in your life, double the presence of the divine. It's like you got God's backing and then you got all of these other, you know, cosmic gods and angels and deities and all of these different energies really backing you, really sending you all this encouragement and really helping you to kill off so much negative energy, you know, that was, that may be left over from the last cycle or maybe still trying to out there, you know, lurk and things like that you know they lurking down there on their vibration and you're just like flying high you know or you should be because you just entered like the most beautiful time you ever walked into for yourself you know so 11 11 talks about creativity and motivation okay it says wishes granted by the divine okay so your wishes have been granted by the divine and that's why they're saying it's okay to take a break it's okay to chill a little bit and you'll be surprised at when you release it, when you let it go just a little bit, you're giving it room to grow, you know? It's like if, if they're showing me this plant, you know, it's like if I, you know, worried and worried over this plant and always watered it and watered it too much, you know, it would wither. It would not grow the way and thrive the way that it does because I just leave it alone and let it grow naturally. In fact, when I got it, okay, there was only these two like parts of it right here, you know, and this whole entire part just sprung up out of nowhere and it's just growing beautifully, you know, and I love it, but I don't like suffocate it, you know, I say hey to it, I water it and I let it grow, you know, it's growing with the channel. So that's our plant, y'all. <laughs> In case y'all didn't know, we got a plant. The plant needs a name. Let's look at the Nine of Cups, okay? We got the Nine of Cups right here, but I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm supposed to be telling you the notes now. So the only thing that I wrote in here was uh, infinite unconditional love, okay? Also, you could be a left path number one or 11 or have your birth, your birthday in the first or 11th month or, or on <laughs> the first or 11th day of any month, okay? So, like I was saying, I got infinite, unconditional love, okay? And so, the Venusians literally had me just sit down and look at the definitions of each word, okay? So, for infinite, I got limitless or endless in space, extent, or size, okay? Impossible to measure or calculate, okay? So this is, and then the example, okay, was literally the infinite mercy of God, okay? So this is what you have received, this infinite energy of mercy, this infinite energy of grace from the divine, you know? And then this, it had like a second definition, like a different type of thing. I don't know. It says another term for non-finite, you know, which is a space or a quantity that is infinite, okay? So the example was beyond the infinite, the space traveler is transformed, okay? <laughs> so you have ventured like beyond the, the infinite, you know? I'm hearing like the outer limits, you know? <laughs> like you're so outside of the box that you used to be in, you know? Like just beautiful, lovely, you know? So next was unconditional, okay? It's, it means not subject to any conditions, okay? The example was unconditional surrender, you know? So it's like when you're surrendering to the divine, you know, surrender it all, give it all to them. You can't just be like, oh, I want to surrender all of these negative thoughts or these reoccurring thoughts and then just choose one thought and stick to that one. You got to surrender all of the thoughts, you know, all of the things that aren't serving you. That's how you have gotten this far to attract, to, you know, 
this is how you stepped out of the infinite in the first place. You know, you were on it. You were doing what spirit told you to do. You was receiving the, the advice and you were believing it and you were following it. And they're saying, continue to do that. All of this infinite and unconditional love energies that you're in at this time is amazing. Okay. So next was love. Okay. Love's definition said an intense feeling of deep affection, you know, and the example was babies fill their parents with feelings of love. Okay. So, you know, like I always tell y'all, y'all are like babies to the divine, you know, they love you. They hold you. They care for you. They're always there for you. You know, they feed you and everything. Okay. They might not feed you, you know, spoon feed you some food, but they feed you plenty of information, plenty of infinite, unconditional love to, to carry you, you know, <laughs> so many lifetimes. It's ridiculous. OK, so number two was a great interest and pleasure in something. You know, when you truly love something, you show a great interest in it and this great pleasure in whatever it is that you do, you know. So this is what they mean when they say, put all of your energy into the thing that you love. What do you show the most interest toward? What do you take the most pleasure in? You know, the example was his love for football, you know. <sighs> but I think that they're just saying like a little bit like in the same way that you have this, you know, great interest and pleasure in like the tiny, oh, I, I want to say like in the best things, you know, like the way you have, okay, so football as an example, say I love football so crazy, right? I'm a super crazy football fan, okay? You could be a super crazy football fan, okay? Very adamant about your team and what set you rep, okay? <laughs> so I am crazy about football, you know, I do everything to make sure that I'm in line with the football schedule and, you know, like even down to making sure that I'm moving my schedule around for games and things like that, you know, saving up my money to go and travel to that place, you know, but they're saying like, what if you put that kind of dedication and time into receiving this infinite unconditional love from the divine, you know, what if you put that kind of love and determination behind whatever it really truly is that you want to get into or whatever it truly is that you want to build, you know, they're saying like utilizing this beautiful golden energy that you're in, you know, to the best of your abilities, you know, not wasting it. You know, I'm hearing like squandering it, you know, like don't squander your energy, don't squander your manifestation powers. And sometimes, you know, in order to get to that place where you're manifesting effortless, you know, or I'm not going to, it's not going to say to get there. Cause I think you're there, you know, but in order to keep it going, they're saying you have to be like very consistent with it, you know, like foot ball comes on every, <laughs> you know, at the same time every year or, you know, on, you know, what is it? Mondays, you know, like come on every Monday at the, at that same time, you know, and this is the same way things like, you know, your manifestation schedule should be and things like that, you know, not your manifestation schedule. I guess you need a manifestation schedule. You know, they're saying like a time where you just sit down and you just imagine all of the big things that you want to attract to yourself in your life, you know, but I meant to say a meditation schedule, okay? <laughs> so maybe a meditation schedule and a manifestation schedule. Maybe a meditation involving manifestation, you know? Try different things. Shake it up. Mix it up. Do whatever it is that you feel like, you know, try these new things in order to bring in new energy. That's just the period, you know? Every single different type of, like, uh, meditation and breathing technique and things that you try, this all gives you a little piece of your energy that you're naturally that you naturally carry back to you you know because your soul your intuition led you to that thing for a reason you know to to receive that piece of energy that's in there that you like operate from okay okay we got the ace of swords because it's the truth i see the empress okay hold up we got the empress okay i see the nine of pentacles okay I see the magician. Ooh, I see the seven of pentacles, baby. <laughs> You're in the best energy, okay? We got the world, okay? Like, ooh. You're attracting so much, so many beautiful things to yourself, you know, like the only real note here is like, make sure you take a break when you need a break so that you don't burn yourself out. Like that's, that's the biggest thing, but let's see what else. So we got the two of swords. Okay. But it kind of fell in reverse, you know, but I'm gonna turn it up. Right. Cause I needed to be up. Right. You know, 
<laughs> I think that um, you're just upright, you know. I think that you need everything to be upright, you know. Like you really are someone who feels like you need to see everything very clearly. You need to really know everything to really understand everything and how it goes. And I know I'm saying it like a, it's a bad thing, but I think it's like a little bit excessive. OK, yeah, we got the eight of cups, you know, like you need to kind of walk away from that a little bit, you know. And sometimes this is what they mean when they take a break. You know, they don't always mean, you know, just take a break, you know, from life, from work, from whatever it is that you have going on. But they mean like, you know, just like chill, you know, Pull back a little bit for yourself. Pull back on your thoughts, you know. Take a break from eating like a certain kind of food or whatever, you know. Because I eat whatever I want. But, you know, I have times where I'm just like, where I'm just like, oh, I'm vegan, you know. <laughs> like, just I'm going to do a vegan diet for two weeks, you know. Or I'm going to fast every day from this time until this time. And then I'm going to eat, you know. And these are all like spiritual things, you know. Me trying new diets and new foods and new things, you know, to bring in new energies what else we got the hierophant okay because i think that you could be the same type of person you know like you're not shy when it comes to trying new things you know but then i think you can also like overthink yourself out of trying something new you know but i think you're so official like a referee with a whistle you know because this cat on the hierophant card has these beautiful stripes you know they look very focused and they got their right hands on the book you know on the knowledge you know giving me a very honest energy a very informed type of energy you know the sky's the limit type of energy yeah with the ace of cups baby please <laughs> you're so full of love and you pour it out like very effortlessly you know I think like they're just trying to like keep the energy up and light, you know, because they don't want you to feel like they're like getting on your head. I really get the energy like you're not doing you're not doing anything wrong, you know, like you could be getting a little bit irritated because you're waiting on this big, beautiful golden egg to like hatch, you know. But for the most part, like you're straight. OK, I hope that you're not worried about anything, you know, I, and me saying that just gives me that energy of, of the air. You know, it's your air. You need to get a handle on your air. We got the two of cups, you know. I think that it's almost like the feminine side of you doesn't have very much trust in the masculine side of you because you could feel like you fumbled a lot of things, you know? I feel like you feel like you betrayed yourself in the past in some sort of way, you know? Maybe you had some sort of big failure. Maybe you had everything, you know, and then you lost everything, you know? But I think that that doesn't speak to like who you are and how you handle business and how you accomplish things, you know? You're still this beautiful, amazing energy capable of doing whatever it is that you want. And and I bet you learned so much, you know, from getting everything and then like feeling like you lost everything. Yeah, we got the lovers. You gained this m much deeper love for yourself and this deeper love and understanding for life, you know, like that was very necessary if that's something that went down with you. Or maybe you could have like not lost material things, but you could have like had a relationship or something, you know, something, some big energy of loss is like hiding up under here, you know, but it's hiding because it ain't the point, you know, like I said, what I said was the point is what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> Which was that, you know, you could not have that much trust in your masculine side, you know, you cannot trust yourself when it comes to like handling business and keeping everything going, you know. And I think that this could have gotten you in trouble in the past is what they're saying, you know, with this Ten of Swords energy out here. Like your inability to trust yourself or your you, you being hesitant when it comes to trusting yourself has gotten you stabbed in the back in the past, you know. So spirit saying don't overthink it and know you're capable of accomplishing whatever it is you're trying to do on your own, you know. What's the two of swords and the eight of cups? The high priestess, okay? Because you see everything so clearly. And this is what I was saying, you know, like for the two of cups and the high priestess to be together, this is what they're saying. Like, this is why the eight of cups walk away from this energy where you think you don't see nothing because you are looking gorgeous. Okay. This is the page of wands. <sighs> more of that beautiful fiery like curious type of energy you also could be a pisces okay you could be a gemini libra aquarius pisces cancer scorpio i should say and we got gemini libra aquarius out here and then what was the hierophant i think the hierophant is taurus energy i'm not sure 
what's the higher font and the ace of cups the king of swords okay but like i said you know you really are standing firmly in your truth you know the king of swords has this beautiful stone foundation under him you know and then with the sword being in the rock you know because the sword is in the rock it's giving me that that king arthur type of energy you know where only the pure of heart, you know, is allowed to wield that sword. And this is exactly what you have proven to the divine, that you're pure of heart. And the way that it's pouring out, out into the world and improving the energy of everything and everyone around you is just gorgeous, okay? We got the Eight of Pentacles, and this is something you worked very hard toward, you know? So just don't feel like it's about to come back and, like, bite you in the ass, okay? This is new energy. This is a new time, honey. This is a time for celebration, okay? Look at the Ace of Wands. This is a passionate, new, divine, infinite beginning, okay? <laughs> and you hold all of the wisdom and all of the clear knowledge that you need in order to keep on going through. So with the Knight of Wands, you know, just keep making this passionate movement forward, you know? There's some King of Cups in this energy of loss because you're working with the divine, okay? <laughs> just, you know, because it's the, it's the Five of Cups, the King of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the seven of cups, okay, and the five of wands and the devil, okay, so some king of cups is trying to come around and give you some sort of gift, give you some sort of attention, give you something, you know, to make you feel like they're worth your time, but I think that you need to just avoid the distractions, you know, this is the last thing that you need is people coming, the song came on and said, love that you'd like to assume I'd waste a single second on you, okay? But I've got better people to leave on red. You just don't have time for the nonsense right now, okay? So just be aware of that, okay? What's the high priestess in the page of wands? Drop your shield, you know? And you can uh, avoid the bullshit without being, you know, like on guard. Like I said, you're pure of heart and you're standing in your truth, you know. And I think a lot of people like don't even have access to you, you know. Like, I don't know, like I'm I'm seeing like, you know, like a little break, you know, where someone's allowed to like come in. Like they don't just come in for no reason. They don't just come out of nowhere. Someone is they let these people in so you can see something or so that person can show you something. OK. What's the Page of Wands and the King of Swords? Fire, your therapist. We got the Fire Guardian, okay? With Ignite Your Passions, okay? So this is what I said, okay? Keep moving this passionate movement forward, you know? The song said, "Your the audacity reaching out to me when your last text was a half-hearted apology, okay? So let's ignore those people with those half-hearted apologies and focus on our truth and what it is we're truly passionate about. What it is we want to pour all of this infinite, unconditional love into, you know? Yeah, we got direction, guardian with choose your path, you know? It's all about you directing your own path and like figuring out where it is you really truly want to go with this thing. Because it's like you can make anything right now. OK, like what's that song? The sky is the limit. And I know that you you keep on just keep on pressing on or something like that. OK, you can have what you want, be what you want, have what you want, be what you want. What's the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands? Um, the Air Guardian, okay, was shift your perception. This is what the Venusians are really talking about here, you know. It's all about the way that you're perceiving things at this time, you know. Like your viewpoint is so important, you know. And just you really need to understand that your intuition is very powerful, okay. It says wishes granted by the divine, okay? <laughs> so track down your fears and your desires and realize that you are, hello, the star seer, baby, okay? You see beyond this current situation. And you. so that's why it's, you don't have to stress about the future or what's coming because you already have seen beyond where you are. So in order to call the manifestations in, it isn't about focusing on the future or, you know, keeping that manifestation that you're trying to create in your head. It's about creating it, imagining it, putting it in the divine's hands and knowing that it's coming and just enjoying the present moment. This is what they're saying. OK, look, wait for important information with the Oracle. You are this beautiful Oracle. Whatever information you need comes to you, you know. And then we got trust your talents and changing times, okay? 
trust yourself, baby, because you are doing the thing. <laughs> I love all this good news that's been coming out here, you know. Because I feel like, you know, my beautiful star seer family is doing the thing, okay? Y'all doing exactly what y'all need to do. And this is calling in all of these messages into you, you know? Anything you need to know, it comes right into you. Even if you don't see it there at first, okay? What's protection, guardian, and fire guardian, okay? Justice. It's your justice, baby. For you to pursue your passions with a beautiful open heart and to see everything clearly and to have no problems on the way there. <laughs> okay, what's ignite your I mean fire guardian and direction guardian? Okay, we got the queen of pentacles, okay? Because of course you hold this beautiful divine riches, you know. It's like the feminine side of you is looking like the queen of pentacles right now, and the masculine side of you is looking like the king of swords, you know. But you have to not be the queen of pentacles, you know, like let don't it's like your feminine side, like I said, is very worried about like finances and you being able to provide everything and to cover everything. But you have to realize you don't provide everything and cover everything, you know, the divine does. So trust your masculine side to go ahead and make this movement and, you know, tell your feminine side to do its job and just love you and support you. OK, <laughs> it's almost like, you know, a little spout between the two sides of you. Or a spat, you know, but I said a spout between the two sides of you, you know. So maybe like, I don't know, something you could do, like some sort of exercise is what they're giving to me, you know. Like write a letter to your masculine side, okay? They've been giving out a lot of homework lately, okay? <laughs> they're saying like, write a letter to your masculine side, you know, the side of you that's in charge of like progress and creativity and taking the next steps and let like from the feminine point of view and tell your masculine side of your fears and what it is that you really want to accomplish with yourself, you know, like explaining to your masculine side, even if you just do it, they're saying orally, you know, even if you just sit and say out of your mouth, you know, like, hey, you know, masculine side of me, you know, I really need you to do to do this, to take these actions, you know, and then speak to your feminine side from your masculine side. Like, hey, I need you to love me. I need you to support me. I need you to, you know what I mean? Always boost me up and always motivate me, you know, like make this clear declaration to the two sides of yourself, you know, like they're talking about like coming to some sort of common ground, you know, in order to clear your mind. Like, I think this will help you to express like certain fears and things that you might not even realize, you know, are there. But I know from a, from experience, like once you get into doing these types of things, you know, you'd be like, damn, <laughs> like, wow, you know, and spirit comes in like, exactly. That's what we was pointing at this entire time. You know, this is what we were trying to get you to see in order to get you to this place of success, you know, but with the seven of swords, you were so concerned about what was going on outside of you that you didn't realize that the tiniest thing that needed to be fixed was within you all along you know so maybe also taking a break from worrying about who's trying to hurt you or who's trying to attack you you know of course we're gonna touch on this shit sometimes if it comes out but it really ain't that important it's funny okay what's direction guardian and the air guardian the lovers okay more of this beautiful energy of you and your <laughs> but it's like before, you know, the two sides of you came out as the two of cups, you know, and this is even better. And look how like the feminine energy is more lit up, you know, feeling secure and comfortable that the masculine side is going to be able to to, to choose the direction, you know, that it's OK for the feminine side that worries about things to like follow. You know, this is how they're going to they're going to drop this bag on you. OK, like, please indulge me. OK, try it. And. Um, I think that you'll see, like, I think spirit wants to show you something with this, you know, I think they are really ready to like, like I said, okay, they're ready to bless you because you're in the proper consciousness, you know, with this temperance energy, okay, and this strength, you really are doing the thing, you moving forward a lot more faster than you think you are, you know, but you need to reassure yourself and like the two sides of you, you know, what's uh, the queen of pentacles and the lovers, the hermit okay so more of that energy of taking time to yourself you know like a shadow work okay so there's they heard they said like uh finding the light 
excuse me, okay, they said finding the light in the darkness, you know. So that's just the energy of shadow work, you know, with the four of swords. This is why the take a break energy, you know, because there's something that the Venusians really want to show you, you know, when it comes to you. Like they want to boost you up and give you that motivation, you know, and give you this new sense of wonder about your current reality and about the moments and things that you find yourself in, you know. That's gorgeous. And then we got Archangel Michael right here at the bottom of the deck, okay? Because everything that you ever wanted and needed is always going to be protected. Archangel Michael always going to swoop in, okay, or ride up on his horse or whatever. <laughs> and, and make sure you make this date with destiny, okay? Archangel Michael always going to make sure that you're protected, you know, through all the, any drama or anything that might be going on, you know? What's the final thought on this, beautiful Venusians? Love with you, baby. The Eiffel Tower, okay? And then we got Charge It at the bottom of the deck, you know? And this crazy mystique under this, you know? Like, keep following your beautiful killer instincts because this different view that you have on life, this different way that you walk, you know, is perfect, okay? It's perfect for you and your energy and who you are and fuck what everybody else is doing and how they should look, okay? Because you cracked open something that most people don't ever get the chance to crack open, okay? Okay, so it says your psychic eye is opening even wider, okay? It's time to climb to new heights with your intuitive ability, okay? It says, we, we, you are reaching new heights with your psychic sight. The Eiffel Tower was designed by a bridge builder for the world's fair in Paris and built to be only a temporary structure in 1889. Some Parisians... Uh, wanted the tower torn down fearing it would stand out too much amid the classic architecture of france okay it stands today despite those first negative reactions okay so just like the eiffel tower you know i think people could have built you up for a little while you know what i'm saying because they thought it would be a funny thing to do they thought it would be cute you know to make you think you could do something because they knew that they just knew you was going to fail, you know? And then when you stood up stronger than they ever seen you stand, they was like, uh -uh, we got to tear this shit down. This don't fit in amongst the classic architecture. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So I feel like you got a lot of negative reactions, but at the end of the day, it says you are bridging your abilities from heaven to earth. And that's what you're here to do, baby. Your ego or some around you may not always like the results. You are a standout when it comes to your spiritual connections. You are also sturdy enough to withstand some controversy, okay? It's nothing. <laughs> it says the view from the top of the Eiffel Tower is stunning, okay? The view with your psychic eye is spectacular. Time to climb the Eiffel Tower, okay? So like I said, beautiful high priestess energies, you see everything very clearly and you're headed in the right direction, but you just need to have a little bit of trust in yourself. And this is what the Venusians are helping you with, you know, helping you to have more infinite, unconditional love for yourself and for, you know, the way that you think about what you can accomplish and what you can do in this lifetime. Okay. So with that, my love, I am done. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day, okay, that you got something that you needed out of this, and I will see you later. Bye.